There is literally no excuse for what you guys are about to see. Frank always needed a new harness. Man, live this and why that. It's made more horsepower on diesel only than we ever have. Currently doing an engine harness. Frank's current harness isn't the nicest. Um, yeah, pretty well consists of a factory harness at the moment that's been butchered and added onto. Should get some more reliability, not having to deal with any electrical gremlins. Um, there'll be a big weight saving. This harness should be a third of the weight of what the current harness is. I haven't really had any major electrical issues. It should look a whole lot neater, especially in the cab. That's quite the bird's nest in there at the moment. Do we expose it? I think we expose it. We had still got most of the factory wiring in there, just none of it's ever been really pulled out. It's just always been added on to, so there's a lot of unnecessary stuff that we have in there. Tidy it up, save some weight. You know what though? At least it's not a patrol. There, there is literally no excuse for what you guys are about to see. What you're about to see is... <laughs> Abomination. Not us. I'm going to throw that out there. I didn't touch much of it at all. But a lot of fabbers have had their hands on the wiring. We're not electricians. Neither's Kalo, but I'm about to say, he's probably about to put a lot of them to shame. We're going down to rip out the electrical and Frank that's been in there for close to eight years. Back to, some of it's from back when it was a mind you. It's pretty bad. You know, this is the worst you've ever seen in your life. Abomination. So we fabbed shields up so that you couldn't see it. And when we needed to add something, we added it. And it just got to a point where it was like, you didn't really know what you were pulling out. Or what you could pull out, more to the point. More to the point, what you could touch. But saying that... It was too consistent not... That's right. We just didn't want to touch anything because it just worked. For the the shop, truth they is, they came around Caleb did it all. <laughs> 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 but hey, we're coming back in. We're not just going to graveyard OG Frank. I'm sort Leave of it in the comments so like what you think we should do with the old shell. Frank always needed a new harness in this form. You know what I mean? And oh. he never it never had time to do it. It was always a, a task that we knew was reasonably big and we just never had time. We always put more time into making horsepower than we did actually. Well and just to get into events. That's right. Like he made a lot of events, went a lot of places. That's right. So but now I'm sort of happy because I'm like, before we go to new Frank. Old Frank gets a new harness. Yeah, it's like yeah. a last hurrah. It almost brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Could be a little bit of the Scorpion diesel fuel that I just wiped in it, but I'm gonna go with the emotions. Come, come over here, show, show them the harness. Show, us, show them what Kalo's done so far. We go from what you just saw to that. So we're deleting a lot of stuff. So he's done pretty well. Yet to label it but we're at that point now where he's got to throw the stuff in there and see where it all fits. Right, yeah, let's gut and cut and get it done with. Here, bro, oh, we're gonna remove the dash, put them in one of the labeled drawers. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he mustn't caterer. have labeled the bin. I don't think the tools are going to go back where the labels say they are. And it's just going to be even more frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. So I can't wait to just get rid of this eyesore and start again and give Frank the love that he deserves. 
We'll make this wiring so neat and tidy and I bet it doesn't run. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what this is. It switches. I'll go easy on the e-boost, mate. Yeah, I want to sell that to somebody. <laughs> hey, 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 go easy. That's, that's a bit of history you're playing around with there. Mate, Be gentle. tell it not to f with me because I'll, I'll let it have it. Hello, I'm free. I'm free, brah. I can feel him. I can feel him. Yeah, boy. Yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ooh. Hey, don't wreck that wire, that single wire holding it. <laughs> whoa, holy shit. You can see more of it. <laughs> We've still got the nitrous outlet. Oh, there nothing ever got pulled <laughs> out. Module in there. No got out and there nothing ever it. came out. Man, alive, there's some wire there. You know, it's like one of those things where it's like, that's really embarrassing. But it's actually past that point. It's kind of interesting now. You can't get in front of people's faces, you it's know? It's the only pretty bit on frame. Anyway. It, look, it's still got original harness in there. Look at that. Look at that shit, mate. What was that for? I like this, though. Hey, if you're after a nitrous outlet Pro Max module, hit us up. Radio, let's get into this. 22 years. No, not that one. Be careful with them, mate. <laughs> Be gentle. Oh, you know what was satisfying about that? I didn't even look to see whether I was nipping other wires. Old ECU, new ECU. We've got two of them. And all these petrol guys, like they're like, it costs a fortune to make your car go cool. Try diesel. Yeah, I was kind of in denial though, you know? Like there wasn't that much wiring? Like, you know, surely it can't be 20 kilos of wiring. But you know what? I'm starting to think it's more like 40. I just want to save that Pro Max before we go any further. But make sure you chop it right off at the box. <laughs> I found you. I saved you. How is there a voltage drop out here? I don't even remember putting that in. Probably the bloke that got sick of the f***ing thing going flat. Grab that harness. This one? Instead of just standing there. He's always this up one? about breaking shit. Yeah. I'm trying to. But... Give him a Give him a old It's not yeeting. coming, man. Oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down, you'll break something. Yeah, he's telling me to slow down. Should we like reuse that bit? Keep that plug. <laughs> it's coming out. We're still gonna have the power from the battery connected, but are we ready? Luke just pulled a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Luke delivered one of his girls on his own. They didn't quite make it to the hospital, so you know. If anyone was wondering why it went that way. And if they're wondering whether or not you can have a baby in a Land Cruiser, you definitely can. You can do a lot of things in a Land Cruiser. Make them, deliver them. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, don't know why that's there, but it is. It's what doctors do when they... They get rid of hearts and that. They just get through it. They get it done. They also do it these days to trans. Did you get that one? That sounded important. <sighs> Here's your thumb tag. What's your guesstimate? My guesstimate? I'm going 18.75 kilos. Oh, down to the points. Come here. You know, you're missing a bit on the ground, mate. I honestly think that's like, I think that's 20 kgs, man. I think, I think, like you feel, it's like a plate. Nah, it's 18.75. We'll weigh it individually. If you were in the market, and you were in a Land Cruiser, and you want to go eight seconds. We got the harness for you. <laughs> uh, you get on there, Brucky. I'm going to get the calculator out. <laughs> 107.8. 107.8. Mm. 
minus 85. What was it? Or was it 87? 22.1. Yeah? It's pretty good. No, there's still a lot of it in there. 20 kgs of water. Yeah. I would say by the time we get it all out, there'd be 25 kilos pulled out. I'd say it was about six kgs that we were actually using. It's still messy. <laughs> there's that there too. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. The Motec harness. Yeah. I honestly think, th I think 25 kilos is no, that's a lot of wiring. And we haven't even stripped the back yet. There's still the old wiring from the Land Cruiser in it. Like, mm. We haven't even pulled that out. That's all that. Mm. I'd yeah. say there'd be another 10 kgs wiring. Cool. A few weeks have passed and Kalo has the harness about 95% complete. He's just got to do the tidy up on the actual harness in the car. So it's laid out, he's got a little bit of heat shrink to do um, because we've got a few lines that we're unsure of whether we're going to use them or leave them out. And there is another harness that we're adding in to his harness for the gearbox so it knows exactly what gear it's in plus all of the wiring for the shifter itself so it shifts by itself like it did. But yeah, um, a lot cleaner. There is a few CAN bus lines that you can see that are yet to be tidied up and put into place because the dash has to obviously go back in here. We are gonna put the steel dash back in. So yeah, we are going to just get on the dyno so we can sort of nut some of it out and not put in what we don't need and leave in what we do need. That makes sense. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Sort of put me in a position where I've never been before. And run, leave your brother on fire. I didn't react the way that I thought I was gonna. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kalo was on it. He was on it. So was once on I seen Kalo on it, I was like, we're good. good. We're gonna add some nitrous today. We're gonna see if we can keep the flames where they're meant to be. Yeah. Here we're gonna and here. Teach Frank that the flames are meant to stay in and out of here. So hopefully, hopefully the motor doesn't come out of the engine bay. We just got Frank pretty much to a stage where uh, we're ready to give it a hit with gas. Now um, it's made more horsepower on diesel only than we ever have, so we're expecting some pretty good numbers. Um, if we go over 1600, I'll be stoked, but I guess we'll, uh, we'll wait and see, go from there. Let's go hit it.
Yeah, we took that big of that. Over the last couple days we've been creeping up on the fuel on this thing and trying to get to a point where we're going to need our new injectors and maxing these old ones out so that's rail pressure and uh, milsec value so over the last couple days we've been having trouble with a bit of noise interference on the combustion analyst um, hardware so we have fixed that well we're pretty sure we fixed that um, we're just gonna record this and then we're going to tear out the old injectors that have been in there for the last two years. So, let's do it. So you just watched this go 1620, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't actually read lower. I don't know why we get these dots. Sure it does. Sure <laughs> it does. <laughs> I don't know why we get it, but we do. But nonetheless, it went 1620 on our dyno. Um, I'm happy to take it to other people's dynos if you guys say that it's not our dyno reads. Luke, you can drag this video out to five minutes again, okay? No, I'm just getting it in there, you know what I mean? You're already getting on top of the haters. But um, yeah, it went 1620. <laughs> We're going to throw the new injectors in, which you're about to see back in there, um, which is going to be the next step. New fuel pump mount, which is going to stop our timing cover from uh, getting tore off the front of the motor. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's broken, the back of the mount's off, so. Yeah, it's currently hanging on by Not two much. bolts yeah. into aluminium. So anyone that knows how much torque goes on those common rail pumps, it's it. only just hanging in there. It's doing it though. <laughs> it, it, it did what it needed to do. So, but anyway, we're going to wheel that in there. New bracket. Is that the same? Yeah. What a pest. All right, we're going to back this in. We'll see you next time. And hopefully back on the hub and maybe, who knows, even down at the track. I reckon we're going to the track with 1700 as a minimum. It's happening. There you go. Yeah, he said it. That's what we're doing. Anyway, like, subscribe, do all that. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. Mm. Yeah? And it's getting pretty good. It's getting pretty out there. Yeah. So. There's uh, petrol Land Cruiser motors that don't make what diesel Land Cruiser motors make. Yeah. Now. And that's sad. <laughs>